Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trails from Zero. We are still busy on the Gangs of Crossbell uh, investigation, but we saw that everybody in town had different texts, so we're doing our rounds, talking to everyone, and we did uh, two regions at the end of the last episode. So we're just gonna see how far we can get today. And if we're lucky, we might be able to continue but I'm not holding my breath for it, so let's start on talking. Man, I'm freaking starving. I usually forget to eat when I'm too busy and uh, having fun. I think I'll head to uh, some bar in the back alley. Not many places to eat on the main street. Hey there, wanna play? I hope you have a fabulous time. Are we allowed to enter yet? This is the Barca Casino. It would be wise to avoid visiting for today. Yeah, I'm not uh, addicted to gambling, but casinos in games usually have some really nice stuff if you invest your time. Arkan Seal is playing a show this evening. You know what that means. My sales are about to skyrocket. Especially your snow gelato. Oh, Lady Ilya has yet to come out. It's been my dream to capture a photo of her moments after she finished practicing. I've thrown down 20,000 whole mirror for an orbital camera to make the dream a reality, so now I wait. Where is Lady Ilya? Is she not coming out? Or maybe she left through the back exit. Ooh, <laughs> that's sneaky minx. Well, Arcus Hill famous even on the international stage. All of the artists that perform for them are top-notch actors. And above all, of them rest Ilya Platier, a dancer as radiant as masterful as uh, her only comes once in a century. Just like Portia, I have nothing but fervent admiration for the fervent dancer. Portia is a fellow comrade in arms when it comes to her love of Arcus Seal. We just so happened to see Lady Ilya uh, dance for the first time right on the same night. We were instantly captivated how well she lit up the stage. It looks like only people with a proper authorization are allowed inside right now. Let's refrain from entering uninvited. Yes, let's. Also, uh, in the last episode, we met someone that looked a lot like Machias' dad. But he was called Dudley. After certain comments, after editing, after uploading it, I watched it again. And I have to agree, he looks way too young to be Machias' dad, but there is a resemblance to that family there. I don't know if there is an actual connection, but Dudley definitely looks like a Ragnitz, but it might just be superficial at that. So for now, I'm gonna assume they are two different people. Mm, 60, 70% sure right now. The only one time we can be 100% sure if we get to the point in the store when they are both on screen at the same time. But yeah, let's continue. <laughs> oh, it looks like uh, it's about lunchtime. The crowd should be rolling in any minute now. We have a lot of patrons that pass by here. <laughs> that was not fun. Who's gonna come in today? Ah, I was working in a hotel in the Empire, but the current manager recruited me here. It is very rewarding to be able to accommodate so many patrons. I'm grateful for the manager for fostering a satisfying environment to work in. And keep on working. Oh, we've been getting many more patrons uh, compared to the usual this year. I imagine we'll run out of vacancies immediately. We've been getting many, many more patrons. And still all the rooms are uh, empty. <laughs> I can finally return to my country. Thank you so much, everyone. You should probably start by buying a new bag, sir. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Thank you. Well, he certainly is a lively one. Hmm. 
Hmm, it is almost time for our patrons to begin checking into their rooms. We must be in tip-top shape when we welcome them. I wonder if some members from Arkham Seal uh, sleep in this hotel? Maybe. Hmm, our hotel provides a complimentary concierge service to our patrons. I would be most pleased if you made use of it. Our hotel provides a complimentary services. Yes, yes, yes. How much is it actually to stay on the rich side of the hotel? Still a lot of money. I'm pretty sure if we're rolling in dough and we need to recover a lot of CP real quickly, I would be more than happy to afford it, but right now, money is a bit tight. Ooh, there they are. See? He looks way too young for that. Yeah. Yes, I'll attempt to gather information on the Republic for the time being. I'll leave the investigation to you, Emma. Understood. I'll rendezvous with uh, Surveys Team K ASAP. The special support section. Please, don't go impeding my investigation. A lot of you are nothing more than dead weight. That was awfully rude. Hmm. This manner has nothing to do with you lot. Hurry up and make yourself scarce. I'm pretty sure those two over there are from the first division. I mean, a single glance is enough to see just how capable they are. Oh man, just being near them is starting to make me nervous. Well, if you're getting nervous by just seeing detectives, then you've got to wonder, what did you do that makes you this nervous? Hmm. Have you ever heard of Crossbow City Hall's slogan? It goes, the administration welcomes each and every one of its citizens with open arms. That's what they claim anyway. They hope they're taking the proper steps to uphold their own values. Well, I hope so too. Oh, thank you so much for handling that extermination request. Oh, that reminds me. Did you hear the news? The CPD is currently conducting a survey on Monster Local to Crossbell. Really? What does that exactly entail? Well, I'm sure you're already aware that your combat notes at the section for monster entries, right? After defeating a monster, officers are supposed to record its information in their notebook. That data is just what we need for the survey. So once you start filling up the notebook, please come and show it to me. In the end, we'll combine all the information we received together to use as a foundation for new safety measures. <laughs> Quite a smart idea, huh? Definitely. I'm glad to see that the CPD is seeking out ways to improve. I couldn't say it better myself. After all, this is to protect the fine citizens of Crossbell. Oh, I nearly forgot. Whenever you supply me with information, I'll give you a small bonus too. Make sure to stop by when you can, okay? So basically, the reason why we need to scan every enemy. Not just to get a complete book, but to get a reward in the process as well. Once you've filled out a certain amount of entries in your combat notebook, please bring it to me. We'll be using the information together to put a more effective safety measure in place. You'll leave me get a small bonus for your effort, so please stop by whenever you can. It looks um, to me like you've been hard at work filling out your combat notebook. I'd like to record your information into our database. Mind if I see it for a minute? With pleasure. Oh, thank you very much. Here's your notebook back. And please accept this as compensation for your hard work. Ooh. They've got you material in this game as well? Interesting. Don't forget to stop by once you've collected more monster data, okay? Thanks, we will. Of course, we'll see to it uh, that we visit. Yeah, these are the things we've already done. Hey everyone, I'm glad to see you're all doing well. You're going to go stop uh, the delinquents from stirring up trouble in downtown district, right? Yeah, at least that is the plan. I see. 
Well, I live on E Street, so occasionally catch those guys causing a ruckus. It always scares me a bit when I uh, see them gathering out there, picking fights with each other. I think that makes just about anyone unsettled. Well, we definitely need to do something about their behavior. It's about time someone took action against it. Well, I live on E Street, so occasionally I catch those guys causing a ruckus. Yeah. If we have the option, we'll definitely try to stop them. Uh, getting these reports organized is a complete slog. Caffeine. I need caffeine. And of course, a little glimpse of Rebecca while I'm up and around could be just what I need to fully recharge. Yeah. I think he's uh, on the dating scene all the time. Phew, I'm glad we were able to get the rookies this year on their way. Alright, now we just got to draw up a report for the chief. <sighs> Great colors above. Getting statements from people is such a pain in the ass. Not only is Crossbow City way too damn big, but it's practically bursting at the seams with people. It doesn't matter how many people you question in a day, it never ends. Basically the sentiment for everybody at the end of my playthrough of, of uh, Trails from Zero and Trails of Azure. You talk to way many people, man. <laughs> ah, thank ideals. I can finally get me some lunch. Why does it feel like we're always short-staffed in the second division? All the resources go to the first. Oh, and also in between episodes, I, well, this is called it, discovered a really nice button, which makes it easier to go to our combat logs, recipes, or any of the other ones. This one is where we can easily go to our books instead of going through the entire menu. Now let's hope I don't forget that button. <laughs> My boss is a micromanager and he loves to nitpick every little thing. I find it hard to concentrate on my work when he's constantly ordering me around and telling me how wrong every minor detail is. Man, I don't want to go back to work. Working for the city pays well, sure, but it's a horrible work environment. To be honest, I've worked for uh, local government to where I live and it is actually pretty chill because you have less working hours compared to other places you work at and breaks are really long and people do not pressure anybody to working hard or anything like that it was a very relaxing work environment to me so it's totally different than my experience so far but at this moment I work at a totally different place mostly a, let us say it's a coffee company <laughs> is that girl from earlier going to be okay I hope so. I end up referring to her as those uh, shady uh, downtown apartments. A lady with purple hair asked me where she could find a cheap apartment to rent a little while ago. I end up referring her to those shady downtown apartments though. Is she going to be okay? I don't know, but we'll keep an eye out on her. Definitely. It appears to be locked. Hmm, I work for General Affairs 2nd Division. I'm in charge of the diet, building and the reception hall, but uh, I'm bored, I am so bored. All I do is clean, clean, clean. We have no reason to go inside here. Okay, so the fact that the one is locked and the other one says we don't need to be there. Do we get to go there at some point? If we have a side quest or something? Because if the door is locked and there's no indicator I'll ever be there, it's fine, but when they say we shouldn't go there right now, I always want to know what's behind there. Hmm, who wants some fresh juice? Oh, are you tired from walking around this massive city all day? Come try our juice. Get your ice cold fruit juice right here. No, too expensive. Oh, hey there, Lloyd. Did you want to check out any books? I'd be more than happy to help you with that. <laughs> I'm sure you would. I've never seen you miss an opportunity to recommend a book. 
What can I say? I love books. I feel calm to just be surrounding by, uh, myself with them. Anyway, no need to be shy. Go ahead and explore the shelves to your heart's content. Perhaps something will catch your eye. You've got an enormous selection of books, who knows what's uh, out there waiting for you. Anyway, no need to be shy. Go ahead and explore the shelves to your heart's content. Oh, that hardly ever new materials to research. I had to beg the director with tears in my eyes to show me some of his restricted books. Mm, I wonder if this will be enough. I'm going to end up repeating the year if I don't finish up this thesis. Yeah, and that should be more than enough reason for you to finish yours. Even if it's not up to snuff. Oh, the director's a bona fide bibliophile. The director managed to bury himself under a mountain of books the other day. He was working too hastily and lost his footing, I think. <sighs> what are we going to do with him? But I suppose it was a bit of a funny scene to walk into. Yeah. Maybe he was just sleeping with the books in order to uh, pick up all the information from them? Whoa! What's gonna happen next? Suddenly, a terrifying demon appeared. Ooh. I wonder if it's an actual story which is based on fact. Because uh, I wouldn't mind having a Trails game with demons inside of them. But to be honest, McBurn from Ouroboros, I think that is a demon all in itself. <laughs> Well, we actually put a lot of effort in our finance, international, entertainment and local news sections. Well, our local news, well, they keep uncovering scandals, all thanks to a certain someone. Oh, Grace, are you even capable of writing articles that don't stir up quite so much of controversy? Hmm? Isn't that... We're beginning to receive complaints about articles other than the ones written by Grace. This is starting to get a little bit out of hand. Would it kill everyone to tone down the provocative rhetoric in their articles every once in a while? Well, if Grace is having an enormous success with her articles, then I can imagine her colleagues wanting to do articles like hers, trying to get a little bit of that fame as well. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but the editorial department is closed to the general public for the time being. Please redirect any of your inquiries to me. Really? Oh, our mistake. <sighs> These are the photos for this issue's local news section. This is the CPD's Virtual section, right? Mm, maybe we should postpone the article? After all, Grace said she'd cover the team some other time. I'm pretty worried for what's to come in her article. As for the CPD's newly founded yada 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 section, well, let's just postpone this uh, article for now. Yeah, I'm just hoping uh, we could uh, get in her good graces and that she make a fine story about us. Hi there, nice weather we're having, huh? I'm afraid the ABC is closed on the weekends. We apologize for inconvenience, but we hope you come again soon. So yeah, an entire new building and region we can visit on the weekdays. Hmm, some eastern looking company opened up an uh, office around here. I have to say, the eastern style aesthetics paired with that crimson exterior is superb design choice. When did I even build it though? I never saw a construction site. Some eastern looking company opened an office around here. I only ever see their employees though. What kind of company are they supposed to be? I always see those thugs from downtown district pop up around these parts. All they ever do is cause a ruckus late at night. Nothing but a pain if you ask me. Bunch of no good punks really. Maybe I shove my noodles down their throat and see if they're teaching them a lesson. <sighs> 
the view they have on the new stall that the upper right here looks amazing, but I must resist. I'm so hungry. I can't deal with this area. All those business means oh, I've had a merge of a thousand packages. These soba noodles are amazing. Oh my, this dish is wonderful. These flavors take me right back when I was growing up. You just have to try this. I got it from the stall over there. Mm-hmm. The sign is affixed to the locked door. You Trading Limited, Crossbell Branch. If you have business with us, please knock. No, we do not have that. Ah, cross balance really are the worst. Oh, all any of them think about is how to fill their pockets full of Mira. They don't care one lick about rules or tradition anymore. Not to mention, they get swept up in every new fan and all these brainless gossip columns. You think they behaved themselves at the festival? <laughs> think again. I may have been raised in Crossbell too, but I'm not like any of those uh, good for nothings. Makes me nauseous just to think about them. I'm just gonna assume that I need to get her rod before I can fish, so let's leave that. And of course, when we do, we'll fish whenever we can and whenever we're able to. I have way too much free time on my hands. I don't like being told what to do by adults, but it's pretty boring just sitting by yourself with nothing to do. Hmm, the journalist lady with the crossbow times came through this parts a minute ago. She's a really hard-working lass. I see her around here fairly often, actually. I see that the reporter comes around here fairly often. Lately, I've noticed her trying to flag down some braces for interviews. La, 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 la. Oh, that wet building is uh, the Brazer Guild. The Brazers are super nice and say hi to me all the time. I just received a notice from St. Ursula that Azel has been hospitalized. The injury isn't life threatening, but it still seemed pretty serious. What the heck did that boy do? Well, he entered a gang. And it went downhill from there straight away. I can't believe he went and got injured after running off without a word. How many times does he have to worry me to death until he had enough? Will Azzy be okay? He isn't hurt, right? Well, it's life-threatening, definitely. Oh, my daughter works as an operator down at the police department. I'm unfortunately a bit in ignorant when it comes to those fancy newfangled positions. No matter how many times she tries to tell me about her work, it just flies over my head. Hmm, doesn't that sound like someone we know? I get the impression that this is Fran's mother. Oh, my daughter works an operator down at the police department. Yeah, it could be Fran's, considering the hair color and all. Still vacant? Hmm. My job is to monitor the movement of the stock market in Crossbell. See? Information on neighboring countries flows through Crossbell's economy and market. Staying on top of that intel is absolutely crucial for a brokerage firm to survive. Hmm... It sounds like the Republic's been dealing with some rather unusual weather. I need to wrap up this summary of the record stock market movement and report to HQ. Ooh... So later on when we play the Calvert region of games, which are still in the process of translation I think, Will we encounter those weird weather phenomena there? Is that going to be what we're going to play around with in that region? Because every region has a bit of their own problems. Like the civil war in Cold Steel, the emergence of people with overpowers. We got, of course, the entire situation here. The blue tree that we're going to get later on. Yeah. So if the weather phenomenon is in Calvert, it's going to be really interesting, isn't it? Oh, those gangs from the downtown district are stirring up trouble once again. 
Those hoodlums will never change, do they? Can't the CPD do something about them? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Good job with the test, you guys. I think I've got a decent idea of your competency from that. From examination that simple? Hmm, it's precisely because it's so simple, uh, little girl. Well, keep at it, you guys. It would be nice if you eventually grew into a kind of team that would at least be good enough to not get in our way. Roots, but at this point still valid. Hmm. Oh, I think I know you guys. Ah, oh, you're so cute. Hmm, I beg your pardon? Are you referring to me? Oh, well, obviously. Their refined and mature aura contrasted with those large, childlike eyes and your adorable, delicate features. It's all too cute, I can't take it. Please, can I take her home, Lynn, for you, please? Hey, Yolia, you do realize that whenever you flip out at seeing a cute kid, it sends them running, right? We just got back from a job, so I think you should dial it back a bit, okay? Hey, forget about her. You can take me home any day of the week, baby. Oh, no way now. Damn, that was fast. I think I just got a whiplash. Hmm, it was certainly unexpected to see the contrast between your graceful appearance and uh, colorful personality. <laughs> Are you too affiliated with the guild? Indeed. And might you all be with the special support section? Ah, so you heard of us. Yeah, Michelle gave us the heads up already. Can't say you gave a good first uh, impression. It is pretty pathetic to have to get saved by Arios on your first mission. Well, I guess we still can't rely on the police quite yet. You rookies have a long road ahead of you. Well, whatever. Let's keep on doing good for nothing job, you good for nothings. They're awfully rude, aren't they? Well, keep that in mind. Yeah, they're really very rude, but considering the reputation of the police we've seen so far... Can we blame them? <laughs> well, we just got back from a job, so I suppose I'll leave it at that for now. Don't you worry, Theo. I'll be back for more hugs next time, okay? Status confirmed. She's a formidable enemy. Well, maybe I've said too much. Anyway, you guys probably have some work you gotta do, okay? Better go put your nose to the grindstone then. Well, at one point, we're gonna surpass the bracers, I'm sure. Because this is Lloyd we're talking about. If anyone is gonna break that barrier, it's gonna be him. Now, the Fisherman Guild is always trying to reel in new recruits. Any interest, kid? You want to be our comrade in rods? We welcome people of all experience levels to come and join our ranks. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of working. <laughs> There's no way I'd find time for this. I would definitely want to join, but we gotta get a raw before we can. Well, come back to the Fisherman Guild whenever you get the chance. We'd be glad to welcome you. Our branch of the Fisherman Guild is for all of Crossbell's fishing enthusiasts. You're looking at one of them right now. Mirror number three, Copen, rank Master Fisher. I'm also a member, but I gotta be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of group activities. Pretty lame of me, right? Well, if fishing is your hobby, which in general is being done alone, is not that weird to be honest. Well, you could probably fish in a group, but how often do you see that? There's a book called Easy Fish Dishes on the Shelf. Yeah, we already got that one. What's with all the commotion coming from the bridge over there? Was there an accident? Oh? An Eastern Jizo is enshrined here. Hmm, I knew East Street was well Eastern, but I wasn't expecting to run into one of those statues here. Jizo, I think they're called. Well, this is my first time encountering such a statue. It has quite a large face, does it not? What's the purpose of this pedestal in front of it? I imagine it's used for food offerings. 
if we manage to cook up any dishes that come out especially tasty, I suppose we could offer them up here? Yeah, that's a good idea. We do cook for ourselves a lot anyway. Alright, then, if we manage to whip up anything especially good, let's give this whole offering thing a try. Ah. We don't have any uh, dishes good enough to be an offering right now. Let's try bringing one next time. Yeah, yeah, once the money starts flowing, I'll focus on cooking a lot more, trust me. Oh, I'm sure you're aware how hectic and nosy the streets can get around these parts. Once you get uh, used to all the racket though, you start to feel a little lonely when it uh, quiets down. It is a funny thing, isn't it? Ah, I have arrangement to meet with an old friend of mine today. We go back way, C and I. Even now, as we both retired, the two of us are still very close. <laughs> ah, the bonds between East Streets and merchants run deep, you see. Yeah, but it's a good thing. If you can be friends with a person from when you were young to all the way do you retire? That's an amazing thing. It doesn't happen that quite often, does it? Ah, oh, that lady sitting uh, behind us earlier was quite cute, wasn't she? Hey, Rose, are you even listening? Hmm? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> what were you saying? So, how was your food? It's great stuff, right? That it's such a great cook. Oral trucks uh, cost a heck of a lot of mirror. Luckily, the government's been giving out subsidies to help uh, make them more affordable. Thanks to that, my company's been steadily building up our fleet of trucks. <sighs> Isn't there any place around here that uh, has cheap rent? See, they all told me to look in this area, but I haven't found anything. Ah, we're on the edge of town and there's a delinquent all around. Basically, those guys look like they come and mess the, this place up really good. Those uh, track suits wearing jackasses come here every couple of days and they're annoying to deal with. Those guys are pretty infamous around these parts. Anyway, just stay away from those alley punks and you'll be fine. Ah, those brats from downtown district piss me off. They've... Uh, Falls right in the middle of my humble little shop before. I obviously threw their asses to the curb. Ah, don't start problems in my establishment, or I won't let you off so easy next time. Don't worry, we will not cause a rocket rockets if we can help it. First thing first, I need to do some preliminary market research. A month should be enough, I think. I start by checking out the city. Huh? Excuse me, my lady. Did we not come here to purchase septium? Have you forgotten about that already? Hmm? What are you talking about? Why would I come to Crossbelt just to buy some shiny rock? That's a total waste of opportunity. It's quite obvious he wants to uh, see to the sights. Well, I seem to remember seeing a used department store when I came here from the airport. I think I'll head there first. Mm, I was hoping to buy the septum as quickly as possible, so we could return immediately. But it seems my lady is intent on spending a while sightseeing. And spending money, no doubt. A lot more of these delivery trucks have been coming through here lately. Thanks to that, it's been much easier to stock up on inventory. Come on now, don't be shy. This one has caught just you just this morning. Ooh, fresh fish. Ooh, let's see. 8 carrots, 12 onions and 15 salmons. Uh, and then after that... Wait. What else did I need to buy? Mm, welcome friends! You can count on us to sell you freshly harvested vegetables at a great price. 
Don't miss your chance to get some great veggies. Farm grown with love, we offer you vegetables at a great value price at all times. Just understand there people, buy everything you can. There's no stopping Dins when he sets his mind on accomplishing a goal. Not only that, but he can, for better or worse, be pity naive. I don't think he's ever been suspicious of someone's motives. So imagine my shock when he told me he wanted to start his own business. Mm, Tins was having a sale, so I may have bought myself a little more than I was planning to. <sighs> I was trying to save some money, but look at the, how that turned out. Hmm, those hooligans in the downtown district sure love to come up here and cause a huge ruckus. I don't know my customers in the process. I just put up some rather unique items too. Uh, they really are pissing me off. Yeah, I can imagine that. Because uh, if someone is messing with your business and your entire livelihood uh, depends on that, yeah. I would be pissed too. Uh, I give up already. I just want to play. Hmm? I thought they were going to have their whole big showdown today. What the heck happened to them? <laughs> that kid, he just wants to see bloodshed, doesn't he? <laughs> not a good thing, kid. Definitely not. <sighs> Will those goons ever get tired of fighting? It would be fantastic if they did. I finally get the peace and quiet needed to study for this damn exam. Hmm, uh, I used to be a well-renowned trader, uh, so don't lump me in with the rest of the crazies living here. Well, you are living here. There's plenty of reason for us to uh, lump you all up in one uh, group. Definitely. From the jobless to the penniless, we see all sorts. You'll also find a fair share of drifters from other countries who ended up here. But as long as you live here, you're kindred spirit after all. Those of us at the bottom have got to help each other out to survive. Still vacant. Mmm, that smells good. Doesn't that smell great? It's making me hungry. I want daddy to eat with us. I hope he comes home soon. It's all thanks to my husband's hard work that I can cook warm meals for my family. Oh, I'm grateful for everything he does. Hold your horses, dear. The stew is just about done. I'll have you know. And then the drunkard. Dan, give me another drink. Okay, so at least we got a name now, this van. We gotta remember if we hear it somewhere around these parts. Oh, those poison tracks would pass here very often. These old ears of mine couldn't make out what all the fuss was about, but I'm just glad everyone's enjoying themselves. Yeah, a gang fight is not about enjoyment, I'm sure. Hmm, Cookie got done in by the testaments. He stuck out his neck for me all this time. I'm about to go visit someone at the hospital. Don't even think about trying to stop me, okay? I'll kick your ass if you do. Hmm, did we fight you guys earlier? Oh yeah, totally. You guys kicked our asses. Hmm, you better mark my words, cause I'll be sure to kick your asses twice as hard. Eventually. Hmm, is he attempting to fight us yet again? His physical capabilities far surpass his mental capacity. Well, these are the kind of guys to forget uh, stuff within three minutes, trust me. Hmm, mark my words. I'm gonna beat the hell out of the testament ones of these days. Hmm, those rotten blue bastards. Prepare yourself uh, while you still can. You'll wish you never let your filthy hands on cocky.
Hey, hey. Yeah. A hundred times over and a hundred times again. Time to return the favor, you dig? Hmm. Those uh, hooded freaks were hanging around our turf again, weren't they? I'll pay back each and every one of those testaments for what they did. Don't even think about getting them away either, or I'll crush you. Well, if you do, we just have to uh, pay you back in kind. Ugh, I'm so damn mad. I knew we should have taken him out while we had a chance. Back when we were looking, loading Cocky into the ambulance, we ran into a bunch of blue bastards. They were crying about how one of their own guys got knocked out too. So the ambulance took him along with Cocky. So they were taken at the same time? Hmm. Ain't that a hell of a coincidence? What's that matter to you? We took care of Koki through the night, then called an ambulance in the morning. Right, I suppose the testaments were essentially in the same situation. It makes it sound like you fought each other. But in that case, wouldn't you have known that the testaments got hurt too? They have claimed that these wounds were the results of your signature nail bats. Hmm, <laughs> that's pretty obviously uh, one of their dirty tricks. I ain't afraid of getting down and dirty. Those brainiacs are always trying to make us look bad. Son of a bitch. I know we decided to retreat, but we should have totally beat the hell out of them right there and then. So even more evidence that things are not as easy as they seem. Hmm, I take a fire proc out around here a few days ago. I saw a bunch of broken glass and some blood splatters. My chest tightened up just looking at it. Oh well, if we are lucky, we can prevent something like that happening in the future. I hope. Hmm, living downtown isn't nearly as bad as you'd think. A lot of spare parts lying around waiting to be rediscovered. Right, I think it's about time to see what I can dig up today. Come back again if you ever need something, you hear? I'm out of spare parts for the day, but I still keep a place open in case anyone comes in need of a repair job. Alright, only the testaments left. And that metal plate on the roof almost seems like you can walk over it, doesn't it? Hmm, maybe one day. Now that it's come to this, I regret not reading my old man's medical textbooks. Medical textbooks? Oh, what? Oh, it's just you guys again. Well, did you get a problem with that? Everybody has a secret or two. We dragged Azel back here after he was assaulted to administer some emergency med medical care, but he didn't regain consciousness. We ended up calling an ambulance and had to wait until dawn before we could shuttle off. I might despise my old man, but. I really regret not having him teach me some basic first aid techniques. Ah, so that's what happened. You guys must be worried sick. Yeah, strangely enough, the ambulance didn't depart for the hospital immediately after picking up Azel. Oh yeah, that's because they ended up picking up that kid from the saber fibers that got hurt. Hmm, I'm relieved the ambulance did not unnecessarily double their efforts. Why the hell are you guys relieved? Sam Punk is a stinking viper! <clears throat> Sorry, I lost my cool there for a second. Azel being hospitalized has me worried. My old man works there, so maybe I'll use him as an excuse to visit Azel tomorrow. <clears throat> Damn those saber vipers. They've been holding a grudge against us ever since they lost the last fight. Shameful cowards. There's no doubt that they are the culprits. I wonder how Azel's doing. I hope he's regained consciousness by now. I hope so too. Hmm, please notice if I was he of any new information you have stumbled upon. There's no need to speak with us. No need, but it does seem very interesting so far. Hmm, I told the members to wait for my order before they try anything. We'll postpone our actions for today. At the very least. Really? Thanks. Oh, don't get the wrong idea. I'm hardly doing this for your sake. We're just conserving our stamina while we can, so that we may bathe in the blood of those filthy fibers. 
dude may be pretty on the outside, but damn, his personality is hideous. Alright. I think I'm gonna save the last two regions uh, for the next episode, which will probably take us like 10 minutes or so. So we're definitely gonna progress with the main story on the next episode. So until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and be back next time as we're gonna do the central square, the back alley, and then continue on by going to the SSS building and see how the story goes. So until then, bye bye.